How can we make more money off of our players? Hello, is this the CEO of Pokemon Go, John Hankey? Yes, hello, and who may this be? Yes, 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 okay. I'm a, I'm a huge Pokemon fan, and I, a Pokemon Go fan, and I was wondering if you'd be interested in listening to my ideas today. We usually don't really take customer feedback, but got about five minutes till my next meeting, so why not hit me with it? Okay, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. So, so you know Pikachu, right? Pikachu? Yes, everybody knows Pikachu. Imagine this, though. Pikachu, but in a hat. We already have that in the game, you know, and we've done it like a thousand times. No, 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 but, but, but like an umbrella hat. Bruh. Okay, okay, keep talking. Okay, yeah, and so you could put it in an event and mix it in with some Caterpies, some Weedles, some other just terrible, terrible spawns, right? Okay, I like where you're going with this. And you could have it like as a full odds or even like higher than full odds and market it as like a super, super rare shiny when really it's just like a regular Pikachu. Oh yeah, we can give it a super high catch rate and make it like annoying to catch. Yes, John, now you're getting it. Now you're getting it. I'm starting to think you might have some good ideas. So hit me with another one. What about your meeting? What about your meeting, John? Oh, that? Uh, it's just a meeting about what we're gonna write for our next Dev Diary blog post. But we can delay it for a couple extra months. It's not like the fans are really waiting for it anyway. Am I right? <laughs> yeah, 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 John, you're right. No one cares about that. Okay, okay, so you guys know how you guys been pushing for remote raid passes to be like utterly useless recently? Yeah, our plan to drive the global community into the ground? Well, well, I think, I think you guys are not thinking big enough. Okay, mm, what were you thinking? So like, first of all, scrap the remote raid passes only in person, like no one even cares about remote raids, get rid of those. But then also you gotta introduce something that I've been thinking about, I, I'm gonna call it this, the 10 second raid. <laughs> I already like the sound of this. A raid would appear for like 10 seconds at a gym. So, so trainers would need to drop everything they're doing, no matter what responsibilities, you're holding your baby, you're having a baby, you're looking at a baby, drop the baby and go to the gym to do the raid. But you see, the unique part is that the gym would be always moving, forcing trainers to be on the go, chasing it. Yes, that would really push trainers to be on their feet. And then another idea I've had is to introduce something called the run run timer, which would speed this moving gym up to a running pace, forcing people to run after it if they even want to participate in the raid. Wait, 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 wait. What about players with physical disabilities? <laughs> oh my god, John, you're so funny, man. <laughs> anyway, anyway, we would also bring the gym participation radius down to like one meter, so anyone who wants to participate in the raid would have to practically be hugging. I love that. Trainers would really be forced to feel a sense of community. Yeah, exactly. Literally, they would have to be like touching each other to participate in the raid. Luckily though, COVID's over, so it's not too big of a deal at all. Yeah, exactly. Um, what else you got? This stuff is good. I'm gonna write it down. Okay, okay, for my next idea, John, think about incubators. What about them? Double the distance. Oh, I love it! That's genius, man! <laughs> right, right, right. So two kilometers would become four, 10s would become 20s, 12s would become 24s. You could even introduce like a 50 kilometer egg, a 100 kilometer egg. The further the distance they have to walk, the better in my opinion. Yes, 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 and we can double the price of incubators as well. Exactly, John, now you're getting it. I'm thinking even make the Pokemon rare. Like I'm thinking we drop a Pokemon that has a 0.1111111% chance of hatching. This would really, really motivate players, I think, to get outside and try to hatch that Pokemon. I think it would just be a great addition to the game. Yes, that would really motivate trainers to go after it as well. Exactly, exactly. Now I have this more ambitious idea I kind of want to pitch you. I'm thinking we limit the um, non-moving gameplay to five minutes a day. Ooh, what, what, do you, what do you mean by that exactly? So if you want to get people moving right, I think that you put a cap on players being able to play Pokemon Go stationary to five minutes a day. And any time over that, that they're not moving, they get an auto ban for the rest of the day. So they pretty much are forced to be moving or else they can't play our game. 
or not, not our game, your game. Sorry, John, I'm just so into this right now. Dax, you're an idea gold mine. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad to hear it, John. Now, okay, I have one more idea I'd really love to pitch you if you'd be interested in hearing. Of course, of course, Dax, hit me with it. All you've given me is gold today. Okay, now do be wary, this idea, it's a little simple, and to be honest, personally, I'm not even sure if it's a great addition or not. Come on, come on, just, just hit me with it. I'm sure it's great. Okay, so you know how traders have to spend like 10, 15 minutes a day opening their gifts one by one, you know, clicking open, swipe to the next, open, et cetera, et cetera? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, what if you added a simple button to the game that you could click and it would open all of your gifts for the day? Kind of like an open all gifts button. That was the dumbest idea I've ever heard. Never call this number ever again. What the f was that suggestion? There's a reason we don't take customer feedback. Now I'm remembering why. He's probably right. It was a pretty bad idea, to be honest.